viewers uh, this is ranji raj and uh, today i am going to teach you the a star algorithm now this a star algorithm is uh, under the artificial intelligence topic so it is a bit complicated problem now in this problem they will give you a graph like this which have the start node as well as a goal node as well as some intermediate nodes in between like a b c and they will give you this table this is the state table as well as the heuristic value associated with each of these states now h stands for the heuristic value uh, for s it is 7 a it is 6 b it is 2 c it is 1 and g it is 0 now this a star algorithm is a path finding algorithm used in artificial intelligence it is used for solving the games complex games like uh, Uh, snakes and ladders ludos etc in computer world so this is a bit complicated while you implement in the computer programming and this is not a directed algorithm it is an undirected method so let us try to solve this problem so first we have the start node let me label this this is the start node and this is the goal node now to start with we have this s so we'll write this s and to calculate the function we have f of n is equal to g of n plus h of n now what is f of n f of n is the complete path or the complete distance from reaching to, uh, from the start node towards the goal node it is from start to goal it is the complete distance from start to goal node including all the intermediate distance and g of n is the actual distance from this intermediate state to the goal state so any intermediate state say for example n to a goal state or the goal node and h of n is the value from reaching the initial state to the state n that is s to any of this state so to start with we have the s node and for s node we have to calculate this by using this formula that is f is equal to f is equal to g plus h now how will you substitute the values now the distance from s to s itself is zero so we will write for g as zero and for h h is the heuristic value of s from this table we can find the heuristic value of s as 7 so it is 0 plus 7 we can give or we we can have 7 now after this from s there are two paths possible that is from s to a as well as s to b so one is from s to a other is from s to b now similarly for s to a you can apply this formula that is f is equal to g plus h and your g remains 0 that is from s you will get this g and s to a distance is 1 now you will write this in one bracket and you will calculate the heuristic value that is plus 6 so that comes out to be 7 now for s to b also that is 0 for g plus s to b distance is 4 and heuristic of b is 2 so it comes out to be 6 now after this from s to a we have s a b as well as for s b we have s b c so we'll write s a s a b now see the arrows the direction of arrows you should not go in some other direction like s to a a to b so s a b and we have for s b c now for s a b you have to calculate uh, this g value so g value you can find from this this s to a gives the g value that is you have to refer this that is g value 0 plus 1 so you will write 1 plus a to b distance is 2 and heuristic of b is 2 so it is 5 similarly for s to b you will get the g value from here that is 0 plus 4 4 plus b to c is 
and heuristic of C is 1. So you will get as 7. Now after this there are further paths possible like S A B C G S A G and S A C G. So our goal is to cover all the paths with minimum distance or uh, the, the final value should be minimum. So let us explore more. So after this we can have uh, S B we can have uh, S B S A C as well as the S A G S A C yeah this path that is S A C S A C we get the value of S A C from here that is 1 and A to C it is 5 and heuristic of C is 1 so it is 7 and we have S A S A G S A G S A again 1 plus A to G it is 12 and heuristic of G is 0 so it comes out to be 13 now remember you have also reached the goal but this is not the minimum value there are further other possible paths so we can explore more that is S A B C this one so S A B C so for S A B C it is like for uh, we get the value of G from S A B S A B we got from here that is 2 plus 1 that is 3 plus B to C it is 2 and heuristic of C is 1 so it comes out to be 6 and we have S A B C G S A B C and G S A B C and G S A B C you get from here that is 5 plus C to G is 3 and heuristic of G is 0 this is so this is the final path by considering now you can consider this as well as this because both these are ending in G that is the goal state so the minimum you will consider from this obviously it is the minimum so you will consider this as the valid path for the A star algorithm from reaching or the shortest path from reaching the start node to the goal node so this is the A star algorithm in brief this is how you solve this A star algorithm so hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video